YouTube, fight fans all over the world, it's your boy, the realist of the real, yes sir, I said it, Real Talk Boxing, and it is a privilege, an honor, and a blessing to be back with you guys again, putting in work, light, moderate workout today, I really didn't feel like it, um, eight rounds on the bag, two rounds of aerobic step, and uh, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good, gonna go eat after this video, but I had to make it, this is old news, I, two days I've been trying to figure out whether or not I wanted to do a, a video over this subject. Um, but yeah, it's just so ridiculous. I have to. Um, the new trainer of Deontay Wilder, I, I guess, Malik Scott, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard. He said that Deontay Wilder is 10 times more talented than Muhammad Ali. Ten times more talented than Muhammad Ali. This won't be a long video. This leads me to believe that this new trainer, well, he's really not new to the camp or new to Deontay Wilder. They have both verbally said that we've known each other for years and we just clicked and we cool. But it still leads me to believe that he has a bunch of yes men around him and you know that he didn't even fire jds it was talks that he actually fired jds but i saw in an interview coming out of deontay wilder's mouth saying that J jds is still with us and i guess him going into the dressing room watching the hands get wrapped and not noticing the egg weight or whatever he claimed was in tyson fury's gloves other than his big gypsy hands um, the JDs didn't even really have experience with gloves anyway, then why send them in there? If JDs doesn't have experience with gloves, why send him in there? You wouldn't have a guy that holds the mitts for you be your cut man. Anyway, it doesn't make sense. Just like what Malik Scott says doesn't make sense. Let's do this. There's a lot of Deontay Wilder fans out there who just love him and they back him. Your prerogative. I don't understand why, but it's your prerogative. Can y'all be honest with yourself? And to people all around the world, do you guys think what Malik Scott said <laughs> is true? We, we, we won't even get into Muhammad Ali's accolades and his achievements. He fought the best, beat the best, and lost by the best. Um... Long story short, Muhammad Ali has more talent in his pinky than Deontay Wilder. The only thing that Deontay Wilder holds over Muhammad Ali is power. And that's it. That is it. So I'm not jumping on Deontay Wilder. This is, this, I'm jumping on Malik Scott, the new trainer. But you, you're a yes man. For that to even come out of your mouth, that nonsense doesn't make any sense to me. And millions of people all around the world. Guarantee you that. Guarantee you. I can't even talk right. I'm so. Listen. Malik Scott. You're not doing Deontay Wilder any favors. Making statements like this. Y'all need to be real with him. Look. D. You need to work on your fundamentals. You need to work on the basics. You need to work on your inside game. Your hooks. Your pivots. Your rolls. You have to work on that because you don't have it. You need more tools in your arsenal. Strive to be like Muhammad Ali. Strive to be like him. Don't tell the world that he's 10 times more talented than Muhammad Ali. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Never mind my opinion or what I think about this. I just want to know what you guys think about it. Even you Deontay Wilder fans. You alphabet boys, you LMNOP boys, comment down below and let me know. Should that even have came out of his mouth? Ugh. In my opinion, no. But as always, respect to all, fear none, God bless. So the next time Real Talk Boxing, we up. We out here, baby.